Tuesday UFC welterweight division matchup. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Cap Springs, Maryland, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 
Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Nice punch land over the top. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, big left hand there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Back to the feet now. Got the single collar tie. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. And there comes the separation now. Lee gets hit with a kick. Real quick leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, just misses with the kick. And they separate. Man, nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot and got defended as you would expect him to. Nice strike. Big leg kick land. Is all about that left kick to the body. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Big elbow there, Lance. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, collar tie. Lee gets caught with that punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casuals. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. All right, let us now check out some of the action, DC, and what a display of body striking there in that previous round. I mean, the last time I saw this done at this level was Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica I. Body kick, body kick, body kick. Eventually look for him to go over the top to try to end the fight. This guy can't do anything to you anyway. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. Let's go, guys. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after him, guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Blocks that strike. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. 
And he landed the right hand there. Takedown defense holds up. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Punch over the top. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Lunches forward with a left hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just misses with the straight right. Nice job to land it. Knee to the body, man. I wish I was in the Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. And he connects with the punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Just over three minutes to go in round two. Single collar tie now. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that learned your headache in the morning. Massive uppercut. And we got a fight on our hands. Nice job at least staying upright on that. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Just missing on that uppercut offering. Oh, Superman punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, big punch land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Keep moving. Protect your face, man. Beautiful punch. Blocks the shot. 15 seconds. Jockey for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Lands to the body there. That was a thudding leg kick. Big kick land. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike.
Brett wants to stop this fight, but you're not going to let him. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Master of the transition. Nice grab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Superman punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like a landing right on that. lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find a to end the night. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Good stick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. I mean, he's cutting down the size with his beautiful leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Superman punch lands! All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, John. He's doing a great job of keeping oh, oh, the hit kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of He's out! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano is going to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 30 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.